Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. It is me, Princess Green, and I am back. How is everybody doing? Tonight, I am sharing um, a little bit of okra. <laughs> I have not cooked okra in God knows when. It's been a very long time. Um, but this evening, I decided for dinner, I wanted to have some okra with onions and some grilled chicken breast and so I am back at it again um, just doing some changes with the diet and um, trying to eat uh, a little more green even more green than I normally eat <laughs> and so here we go we're gonna see can we get this okra cooked up um, and my goal is to get the okra cooked down um, to where it's kind of like a not really a sauteed okra but almost a lightly fried okra and um, I'm just looking forward to having it let's see how this works out that I looked at says if you're going to do some okra stove top it's best to do it in a cast iron skillet on high heat and so that's what I went with I just have one little little teeny cast iron skillet it's not big at all it's enough just to cook enough um, for one or two people and here's my seeds they're looking nice and brown so I'm going to go ahead and cut this okra on off. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I am so excited. It has been such a long time, but I am excited to cook this okra. And so here it is, all complete. And this is just really a good idea, y'all. I did some um, little small grilled chicken tenders. Um, these are three little chicken tenders and I just grilled those right up and they're nice and juicy. And then um, my star um, for this dish tonight is my okra and onions. And so these um, okra and onions were cooked down with a little bit of olive oil. That's what they were cooked down in. That was olive oil. And they were in a cast iron skillet on high heat. And I spiced them with a teeny bit of salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and then something called everything seasoning, which is kind of like um, poppy seeds and a little bit more of the pepper seeds. 
and um, what I'm liking about cooking it this way is it cooks out all of the liquid um, I don't particularly care for all of the liquid um, that is in okra um, I more or less like it cooked out unless it's like in a soup or something and so for this being a side dish it cooked down perfectly and my way of gauging how um, my okra is doing when I'm cooking it is more so than watching the actual um, side of the okra itself I like to watch you know the seeds cook down and I like the um, okra seeds to cook down to a nice golden brown and so I've reached that consistency and they look great anyway so here we go we are eating green and we are eating like grilled chicken and okra Y'all have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye. Alrighty. And so, my dish is all set. I've got my grilled chicken and my okra all cooked down. But y'all, I'm really not wanting to eat um, just dry grilled chicken. <laughs> and so, on the side of that grilled chicken, I have um, just a little... Um, dab of some ranch dressing and on top of my okra I'm gonna throw just a little bit of hot sauce right on top of that okra and that's just to kind of you know snazz it up a little bit help me to get it on down <laughs> but there it is fried okra and onions that I cooked down in some olive oil along with uh, two little grilled chicken tenders and some ranch dressing. I had three chicken tenders on the plate, but somebody came by and scooped one of those up. And so there we go. Y'all have a lovely evening, and this is a good idea for a light dinner, y'all. Good idea for a light dinner. Be blessed. Bye-bye.